a Canadian Magic the Gathering player, well this channel seems like it's going to be one wild ride. Hey everybody, Canadian MTG coming to you with a Tron Modern deck. So yes, this is a new deck tech, and this one is a little costly being at an average of around $1200. But this is a very very basic standard Tron deck. So let's go over it. So we have our lands being 20, we have one Eye of Ujin, or Eugen, which is colors all drowsy spells you ca uh, cast, costs two less to cast, and seven and tap, switch your library for a colorless creature card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Got one forest, two ghost quarters, adds one to your mana pool, or searches for a basic land card. We got four Grove of the Burn Willows, which is an $80 card. It's a one colors, and then you can add red or green to your, uh, mana pool, but then your opponents gain one life. We got four Urza's Mine to go with Urza's Power Plant and Urza's Tower. I did go over these three in previous videos. They do buff each other up, so if you want to check that out, go do so. And then we got six creatures being, uh, Emrakul, the Eon's Torn. So a 15-15 for 15, uh, being 15 colors. Uh, Emrakul, the Eon's Torn, cannot be countered. When you cast him, take an extra turn after this one. He has flying, protection from colors, spells, and annihilator six. And when he is put into the graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. So once again, a really good Eldrazi that, you know, allows you to keep your, all your cards. Then we got one spell skate, which is a two for or zero four for two colorless. And then with one for Rexia mana, change the target uh, of a target spell or ability to spell skite. We got four worm coil engine being a six six for six colorless with death touch lifelink and when it is put into the graveyard from battlefield put a three three colors worm artifact creature token with death touch and one with lifelink onto the battlefield. Pretty good eh? And then our, our artifacts which we have 16 we have four chromatic spheres which is a one cause one tap uh, sacrifice Chromatic Sphere, add one mana of any color to your mana pool and draw a card. The four Chromatic Stars, which is a one cost artifact for one tap, Sacrifice Chromatic Star, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, and when it is put into a graveyard from play, draw a card. Four Expedition Maps, so a one cost, two tap, so, uh, allows you to search for a basic land. Or, well, actually, no, sorry for uh, just a land in general and add it to your hand. You got three Oblivion Stones, so. 3 for 4 tap, put a fate counter on target permanent, 5 tap, sacrifice oblivion stone, destroy each non-land permanent without a fate counter on it, then remove all fate counters from all permanents. So this is really good. And then we got Relic of Progenitus, so we have 1 cost, tap, target player removes a card in his or her graveyard from the game, and then 1, remove Relic of Progenitus from the game, remove all graveyards from the game, draw a card. So very good way of getting rid of opponent's graveyards. That's how you look at it. Then we got 12 sorceries, being four ancient stirrings, so a uh, one green. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a colorless card from among them and put it into your hand, then put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Four pyroclasm, so a two cost, uh, one colors, one red, for pyroclasm deals two damage to each creature. And four sylvan scrying, so a two cost, one colors, one green. Uh, search your library for a land card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Once again, search and burn. Pretty good. Planeswalkers, we have four Karn Liberated. And two Yujin, the Spirit Dragon. And then for our sideboard, we have Boil, Nature's Claim, Relic of Progenitus, Rending Volley, Spellskite, Sundering Titan, Thrygtust, and Vandal Blast. Uh, what's it love? So tell me what you guys think about this deck. Remember, this is a modern Tron deck, so give it a thumbs up. You know, aka like the video, comment on the video, share the video, and I will see you guys next time.